The race for the White House ticket is underway this hour as polls open up in a battleground state. Good morning, I'm Matthew Wells. What would you say is one of your like most popular items right now? So the most popular thing is also super viral is the birria tacos. I actually have a photo right here behind you. Um, so it's like a shredded beef brisket taco that's stove fried, real cheesy, all that. It's time once again to vote for the Wendy Giant Player of the Week. Just use your phone to scan the QR code on the screen that will take you to where you can vote. You can also go to WLBT.com and click the Giant of the Week tab on the top of the page. We have a crowd headed our way right now, so as you can see, people are starting to foul in at the fair right now. Who you think gonna win the game? Um, Dance you, obviously. Nah, if we don't, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. But the Public I Service Commissioner hosted a nuclear summit this week. Currently, the only nuclear power plant in the state is Grand Gulf in Port Gibson. They have approval from the regulators to expand, but they are still looking at all options before taking those steps. Just about 10 minutes to go in the second quarter right now with the Jackson State versus Mississippi Valley game. And a score that nobody suspected, Mississippi Valley is actually up 14-9 to as of right now, but Jackson State is on the drive. The Public Service Commissioner hosted a nuclear summit this week. Currently, the only nuclear power plant in the state is Grand Gulf in Port Gibson. They have approval from the regulators to expand, but they are still looking at all options before taking those steps. So when I see you got your cups laid out, could you go over some of like, the things you guys going on right now? Yes, yeah, so all of our cups are souvenir cups. They start here at 15, 20, and 25, 40. Each cup that you buy comes with a free refill. Make sure you guys tune in to JSU TV for Tiger Report. Go Tigers! Jordan Jones added seven blocks for the Tigers, but it wasn't enough. With back and forth action in the third set, Jackson State fought hard, but Southern Miss nearly defeated them 28 to 26. The Lady Tigers will be back in action this Friday, the 27th at the AAC as they take on SWAC opponent Florida A&M. Last Sunday, the Lady Tigers took on Bethune-Cookman in hopes to gain their first win in conference play. The Lady Tigers pulled off an impressive three to one victory. Jaden James and Alexis Williams are key to the success for the Tigers. Both posting double-doubles, James recorded 16 kills and 13 digs, while Williams added 12 kills and 15 digs. Hope Briggs also contributed with 14 kills, making for a balanced offensive attack. Here's what Hope Briggs had to say after securing their first win in conference play. Um, it was very important for my team and I. I feel like coming off two home losses, especially, it was important for us to uh, make a statement today. Um, and coming back and winning in four sets. The Lady Tigers' next opponent will be Prairie View A&M on October the 6th, and here's what Hope has to say to some of the fans. Yes, most definitely pack it out. Um, I'm not sure if it will be a theme, um, but if it is, make sure y'all try and match the theme, um, and we appreciate all y'all's support. That's a look at your top local stories that's happening on the Student Review. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight at 6.